have reached to the second subtopic in topic 2.1 which in this topic or in this subtopic we will discuss about operational properties of vector function I believe uh, before you enter this uh, lecture you are familiar with uh, operational uh, properties involved in the normal uh, vectors so right now whatever properties that you have been dealt with a vector will also apply here just as you can see from this theorem 2.1.1 you will see that uh, these operational op properties of vector function will give you two different results where the first four uh, expression will give you vector function meanwhile if you find the dot product between two vector function you will end up with scalar functions so let's try to solve this example so i'm trying to solve example 2.1.2.1 on page 127 so you have been given with this vector u consists of t squared dn negative sine t and vector v is equal to t 1 over t and 5 so right now let's try to solve this question a the question asks you to solve u plus v t what should i do you have to find the additional between these two vector functions so you have to uh, add them according to the component i with i j with j and k with k so the answer will be t squared plus t t plus 1 over t and 5 minus sine t so again when you want to add between two different vector function you will end up with new vector functions so let's, let's try question num, question b the question asks you to find uh, scalar multiplication between vector function with e to the power of t not scalar multiplication sca uh, scalar function multiplication so in this case i will i will get the question asked me to determine the multiplication between vector function with function e to the power of t e to the power of t vector u and t so what should i do when i try to solve this question i need to multiply e to the power of t with that uh, with each component functions of vector u separately so i will get e t t squared e t t and negative e t sine t simple right so let's us focus on solving question c first for question c the author asks you to determine the cross product between two different vector functions so right now if you recall correctly by right in order to determine the cross product between two vectors you will use the concept as if you try to determine the, the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix so right now let me help you recall the method to determine the cross product between two vector functions so right now i'm going to have vector u cross with vector v and then i'm having this notation and then i will arrange the component vector first such as vector i vector j and vector k and then 
I will arrange component functions of vector function u and I will have element t squared t and negative sine t followed by component functions of vector function v I will have t 1 over t and 5 and then I will try to solve the cross product between these two vector functions I will use different colors for my pencil and then I will cross I column and I row then I will have 5 times t minus 1 over t times minus sine t and then I'm using another color to cross j row and j column I will have negative j negative will come by default because the sign involved will alternate with each other positive i minus j and positive k uh, this time around i will have negative j and then i will get 5 times t squared minus t minus sine t then again, I'm using different color to cross K row and K column. I will have positive vector K. I will get T squared times 1 over T minus T times with T. Let us try to simplify the answer. I will get I 5t plus sine t over t minus j 5t squared plus t sine t followed by plus k T minus T squared so this will be the final answer for question C so you have to remember please do it slowly to avoid any silly mistakes moreover this operation involves positive and negative signs so your answer will be different if you use the sign inconsistently Okay, so let us move and focus to solve question D. So question D, the author asks you to determine the dot product between two vector functions. So you have to recall back the operational properties in vector functions. Uh, by right, you have to remember the dot product between two vector functions will always give you scalar functions no longer a vector so there should be no i component j and component k of a vector it should be scalar functions so as long as you stick to that information by right your answer will be correct so in this case i'm using uh, this pointy bracket to present the vector function I will have t squared t and negative sine t for vector function v I will have t 1 over t and 5 so right now we try to determine the dot product between vector function u and v so in this case if you can remember what you did during your upper secondary school by right we will 
perform the multiplication according to the component in other word i with i j with j and k with k i'm using a uh, different color as you can see from here t squared will times with t t with 1 over t and negative sign t with 5 and the sign involved should be uh, plus okay if we do it correctly you will get t squared times t plus t times 1 over t plus negative sine t times 5 so the final answer will be t cubed plus 1 minus 5 sine t so this is your final answer remember dot product between two vector function will produce scalar function indeed it is true there is no longer i j or k so i really hope you can do some revision uh, right after you go through chapter one because this can be considered crucial uh, when you try to understand the rest of chapter two if you don't get uh, the fact right it will uh, disturb your learning uh, process throughout chapter two see you again in another video bye